Also this morning, firefighters rushing to the scene of a huge blaze in the Keys. They were battling these flames for hours overnight. And this morning, we're now getting a glimpse of some of the damage left behind. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margol is at that scene now of the fire in Marathon with an update for us. Ian. And it is still smoldering this morning. In fact, let us go ahead and let you take a look at what is left of this. You can see the smoke still coming up. Crews walking around this area just trying to make sure this does not spark up again. Now here is what we know. The city of Marathon Fire Rescue telling us this started at about 2.30 a.m. and they were responding to a large fire at a marina. We're right here at mile marker 47.5 in Marathon. Sky 10 was overhead, showed us the aftermath from up above. When they got here to this scene, they also realized there was a house on this land on this marina that was caught on fire as well fully engulfed when three crews merit from marathon and monroe county worked together they put out this fire it took them several hours but at 5 30 they were able to finally put it out we do have some pictures from when this fire was raging you can see how massive it was fortunately the good news here no injuries reported although a lot of damage in fact we're hearing several businesses uh, their boats have sunk because of this completely destroyed by this fire us1 was closed in both directions right at about three o'clock this morning they had hoses stretched across the highway there just so they can get some more water on this fire back out live now they have reopened the road they have it down to one lane for a little while they were putting cars uh, in both directions on one lane but again the road has reopened at this point this morning. You can see what is left of this fire crews still working. We are told the fire marshal will be coming out to investigate. But crews, when they were out here this morning, not only were they dealing with boats in this house, there were a lot of lobster traps as well that were basically acting as kindling. So firefighters were literally getting in a forklift and moving batches of these lobster traps out of the way to stop this fire. Now, as soon as we get any new details about this, about what sparked this fire, we'll be sure to pass them along to you. For now, we're live in Marathon. Ian Margo, Local 10 News.